Today's top tip is about creating an elevator pitch for your research. Imagine you are getting into an elevator and someone asks you, what is your research all about? You need to describe what it is and why it is important before the elevator reaches its destination and the two of you part ways. By the time you exit the elevator, the other person should know exactly what the problem is that your research is addressing, what it is that you are researching and why it is important. But why would we care about putting an elevator pitch together? Firstly, formulating your elevator pitch creates clarity in your own mind as to what you are researching and why it is important. Going through this process helps you cut out the fluff and get crystal clear clarity. For this very same reason, formulating an elevator pitch for a specific paper or grant application is an excellent way to gain clarity. Secondly, we often don't have much time to share our story with someone else. Imagine this. You are drinking tea during a conference break, standing alone next to a table, observing the buzz around you. Someone joins you and asks what your research is all about. You start talking, but after 30 seconds, a colleague joins your conversation. You finish your sentence and then the subject changes to the amazing scones at the venue. If you gave your elevator pitch effectively, your companion will know exactly what your research is all about and can ask follow-up questions when needed, or you can volunteer more information at a later opportunity. You would have planted a clear picture in your companion's mind, and they can contact you if any an opportunity comes along in the future. One never knows who can connect you with what opportunities when. In 2015, I attended a conference in the UK, and a fellow delegate joined me for tea. He introduced himself and we had a brief conversation. Elevator pitch and all. Three weeks after the conference, I received an email from him inviting me to teach on a master's program at the University of the West Indies. It was such a fantastic experience and the start of a long-term collaboration. Now let's get practical. You may wonder how to go about putting an elevator pitch together. You start by answering the question, what's the problem? Then, what are you researching? And finally, how does your research findings create impact? It's easy. I'll explain with an example. Start with the problem. Cricket fast bowlers are prone to injury due to the high speed asymmetrical bowling action, putting a high load on the fast bowler's body. Go on to state what you are researching. My research involves looking at how the bowler moves in three dimensions and how these movements relate to injury and bowling performance. We use advanced equipment to analyze how each joint bends and rotates and also how the muscles contract during the bowling action. Then state why this research is important or how it creates impact. Using our research findings, we can develop injury reduction programs that can be tested in future research. We can also advise bowlers and their coaches on the risk of first time or re-injury. Overall, we look at how body movement can be used to reduce injury risk and enhance performance. And here's my whole elevator pitch. Now go and formulate your elevator pitch, enjoy the newfound clarity and opportunities. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.